How did you do that? Well, I have a way of going about my things. That's it. As a result, you won't. You know what, Tony? I really admire how you handle difficult situations. Listen, uh, take this to my father, okay? I'll be with you. No matter what, Tony, you will always be here in my heart. Take a look at them before I leave. Um, did Mr. Hans pay in the money yesterday? Oh yes, Mr. Hans. He did. He did. But uh, somehow, somehow, I asked him to bring the money. Uh, paying a check, or rather, when it was a bit late, he sent his driver to bring in cash. And the money was so huge, I couldn't take it in. So I asked them to take it back and bring it today. Very uh, very prudent of you. Thank you, sir. Very, very prudent of you. That was a smart move, and uh, these days it's no longer safe around here. When are you leaving for the companies? Anytime. I just want to sort out a few things and check out some of the things with the accountant, and I'll leave. I guess we're making a giant operation. Uh, and I like it. That must be your friend. So soon. Oh. Tony. You know something? You are every age a father's dream of a son. You remind me so much of your little mother. She was so hardworking. Stood by me through this little steady rise in this business. A whole lot of the times I believe she lives in you. Yes. And I've always known that you can handle with this business. Such giant strides. Handling this company. Keep it up, boy. Thank you, Ed. Uh, I must confess also that uh, you've done so much for me. Um, I thank you for the confidence you have in me. Um, you're almost everything to me. I 
know that you've invested so much in me. You've always stood by me, giving me all the support. We've gone through a lot. This whole business. I can just tell you one thing. But I'll try my best. I keep doing my best. Not to disappoint you. You've always, you've always done your best. You've always done it. And I am highly, highly impressed. So, uh, don't overwork yourself. No. Obviously. Okay. I got it. I need attendance from my nurse around the clock. Cause there's no prescription for me. She's the one, the only remedy. Mr. Tony. In fact, we are very, very much impressed with your outfit. Thank you. The way you've been working with us. While we are here this afternoon, is to get in touch with you so that we team up as partners for the business. Uh, Tony, we've been in this mining business for quite a long time. Over 20 years and a bit. More than even that. All that we do is we produce and foreigners will come here, collect our products, take them to their, to their place, refine it there, bring it back to us for a very high cost. And now that we've seen that your company will be of much help to us, I think it's a, it's a high time we come together and then we pair up. Since you, can, uh, you are now adding value to your, your, your finished products, so, uh, if I may ask, what, what are the terms? What are we looking at? Mm, yeah, before we came here, we decided on 70-30. Oh, no, no. Uh, I quite appreciate that. But um, when I was coming here, I actually didn't, I didn't see it like that. I was hoping that we'll get, um, at what? we get like 60 for us and 40 for you. Oh, we've known your dad for a long time. And plus, if not transferring business to you, we hope you treat us as such. Yes, we will. Mama, I, I, I actually appreciate everything you are saying. I appreciate where you come from. I have a very good relationship with my father, working relationship. But um, also understand this. Um, like you rightly said, we're adding value to what you're doing. You mine and all. I know it's not easy. But uh, I think 60-40 uh, will just be okay. Let's make it 55 for us, 45. Are you okay? Let's do that for you. I will, I will go in for 45. 45, 55. 55, 55, 45. Is that okay? Is that good enough? Yeah. Let's start with that. Let's okay. start. Okay. Is it that business? Yeah, Is that okay? It's okay. All right. It's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be with you. It's nice to be with you. Okay. I'm great. It's all it's a deal. Thank you very, very much.
But how come uh, Vivian didn't get down at her house? Oh, now I wanted to just come and see you, so at least we make a proper okay. presentation now. We bring back reports and, and everything, that's all. That's okay. why she's here. How was your trip? Very fine. Good. Yeah, how did the um, conference go? It was splendid. It was wonderful. We had the, the response was just amazing. The way people want our products, they want you know all the gates, the ones with uh, railings with the, the motorized gates, the the doors, and you know it's so wonderful. Anything that is efficient and convenient, they want it. The remote control, the remote control gates, and all that. It's been so so, so wonderful. It's they're willing to pay good money. Huge money, I guess. We're going to make huge profits. I know you won't let them off there. I won't say. I won't, <laughs> we need it. I won't. I'll make sure that I can't <laughs> Oh, Audrey! It's me, your sister. Sister, my sister. Tamara. Yes, Audrey. Oh. Tamara. It's me, yes, your sister, Tamara. So, we run and open the gate. Yes, sir. Where have you been? Brother, it's a long story. Come, come, come and like? meet your uncle. It's my son. How are you, boy? Yeah. You're all welcome. Tony, yeah. do you know this one? Yeah. That's uh, your auntie. Yeah. Uh, my younger sister I've been talking about. Yeah. Yes, oh, my son. Uh, Tamara, that's my, my son, son, Tony. Oh, nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said, who, who is this? He, he, he's my son. And what's the he, name? He's called Prince Buju. Okay. Mm -hmm. Abina! Ab mm -hmm. I'm just about leaving for time, so... Uh, uh, you take them in and then uh, she'll give them a place to lay their heads and uh, fix them up, okay? Find some good clothes for them, prepare some, them some good food and all that, alright? Now, Tamara, just go with her. Boy, what's the name? Princess Prince. Prince, okay. Alright. Brother, thank you. You go. Brother, thank me. Uh, uh, you know, let, let's let's get it. Okay. Let, let's go.
<laughs> Prison life in Nigeria hasn't been easy at all. <laughs> you remember that white man that came, that was taking me to Paris? <sighs> we had to go through transit in Nigeria. <sighs> On getting to the airport, I was arrested because he was a drug peddler and he had put all the drugs in my bag. I tried to call him back and he did not listen. He left me at the airport. By the time I knew it, the court had pronounced judgment. I had to go and serve 30 years in prison. And then I was pregnant with him. Look at you, Tamara. Just take a good look at yourself. And all those times I was sending messages upon messages. I don't know when you were in prison. So what happened to your son? I had him in that prison. And since I didn't want to lose sight of him, I insisted he attended the school in the prison yard. So all his life he has lived in the prison yard. Brother, it doesn't be easy. I really need your help. Please. After 25 years, they released us. And I had to go to the village and look for you. On getting there, they told me you were in Accra. So, we've been going all around Accra looking for you. Until I was given this address to come here. And here we are now. Brother, please. We need your help. <laughs> Poor boy. But thank God you are out now. So you take heart, all right? Uh, I believe that you still have a future. And uh, we'll do whatever we can to help you turn around. But I think. Brother, thank you. That's all right. No, no, no. God bless you. No, no, no. God, okay. you are my savior. Oh, brother. God bless you. Say thank you, your uncle. No, sit down. Sit down. That's all right. Oh, brother, God bless you. That's all right. Brother, you are, you are my savior. That's you have right. saved us. Oh, God it's bless you. It's okay, Tamara. Uh, Tony. Uh, say to your auntie and your cousin, all right? I'm off to town. Ben! How are you getting it?
Who opened the door for you? I'm here to get my money. Musa! Who opened the door for you? I guess you could go downstairs and check on that for yourself. Ah, please, why are you sounding like Anyway, that? I'm not here to enjoy your smelly house. I'm here for my money. Which money are you talking about now? My $20,000 I gave you. Ah, I thought this is $10,000. Oh, anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm here for my $20. Yes. All of a sudden you've changed. When you used to come here, it used to be nice. Oh, so what were you expecting me to do? You've been refusing to pick my calls, neither do you come over to see me. Give me I... my money and let me leave you alone. Eunice, everybody they owe. Even Bank of Ghana is owing. Oh. We all are, we are owe. Ro, you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Roman, give me my money now! Ah! Ah! Since when did you start being back on me? What's wrong with you? Oh, you want to know? Give me my money. Is that why you have to put me that way? Oh! You really want to know what's wrong with me? What is wrong with you? Eunice, that's my only fortune. I don't. I've tried. Me, since when? Uh, when did you get to this level? Oh, I wanna Keep the gun down now. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'll give you the money. Keep the gun down now. Keep the gun down. Let's settle this issue. I beg you, keep the gun down now, please. I don't want to have anything to do with That's my only fortune. You're a user. I'll use you. I'll I'm give you. Loser. Oh, forgive. Don't don't go away like that. Give me the car key now. Don't do this. Don't. don't you do come near me. You're a dead meat. Oh, The very first time I saw you, I knew you were the missing rape I was looking for. I knew you got the air I needed to live longer. You set my heart on fire that even the longest river in the world will not quench. I no longer think or do anything else but to dream of you all day long. I'm not complaining. I'm okay. But Tony, I think it's about time you started thinking of getting into some serious relationship. You know, uh, it will ease the stress a bit. Okay. I, no, no, no. It's, it's not just the right time. We have a lot to do around here. There's so much, especially with your partial retirement. We need to work on so many things and then I think when the right time comes, we all know. But for now, I just want to stay focused now. Yes, you want to stay focused. Do you know, a refreshed mind works better. Right now, uh, since you don't have any female companion to take you out for lunch, I will. I'll be waiting in my office. You're asking me for a date. That's funny. <laughs> I'm in there. And I can't be without you, baby. And I'll be waiting up until you get home. Cause I can't sleep without you, baby. Anybody who's ever loved you knows just what I feel. 
too hard to figure. Nothing can replace it. Call a radio if you just can't. Let's see. Another payment. Another check. How do you do it? Oh. You have the magic touch. <laughs> this is great. This is wonderful. They are all paying. God's been so, 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 so faithful to us. What have we done to deserve all of this? Mm? The demand is huge. We can't even meet up with the supply. God is wonderful, don't you think? Of course. Um, I think this calls for a celebration. Yeah, I think. I think we should be able to celebrate it. It's calls for a celebration. I mean, between you and I. Vivi, 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 stop it. Listen, I've told you time without knowing. I don't like mixing business with pleasure. Do you see, this is an office. My father can come in any time. Please, better. Huh? Let's keep it like this. Hmm? Tell me. Can't you see I'm incomplete without you? I mean, all I'm asking for is for a chance to prove myself to you. Please, let's not bring in all this. We have a very beautiful working relationship. Everything is working well, everything is great. The business is moving on well. You're a great girl, but please don't break this. That's not sport. Listen, if you insist on this, I won't have a choice that you do what you want. Okay. I'm sorry. Are you happy, Nikki? You're not really into music. I have no idea what you do without music. Hey, man. I'm bored, you know. Let's go out or something. You have a beautiful car park. Let's show off in town. Let's show ourselves. Let them see us. Let's do something. You can go out. Have fun. Oh, no. It'll be boring, you know. <laughs> What's that? Your garden light. Garden light? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fascinates me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was beginning to ask you this. So, uh, what was it like? You know, being born in prison and growing up in prison? You know, it's really funny because if you look around you, this is not much too different from the prison. You know, with all your high walls and metal bars all over, you know. The only difference is there are no guards here and you have your freedom. That's it. But hey, it really wasn't easy. It was mixing up with other prison children and being one myself at that time. You mean there were other kids in prison that grew up with you? Exactly. Their moms were pregnant 
and they were jailed. So they gave birth in prison. So how did you cope with education? Oh, there's a school in the prison campus and we had people taking care of us. But I tell you, it was nothing like this. It's a total different world. It's, it's like a planet on its own, you understand? Just how come I have this funny haircut and all, you know? Now that you're out, um, what's life going to be for you? What Would you like to join me in the family business? Yes. Hey, we can talk about that later on, right? Work, you mean? This is my new life. Just leave me to enjoy it for a while, please. Before work comes in. I've scrubbed enough floors. I've washed clothes all my life. I feel my palm is like I've been digging coal from the ground. Look. It's as hard as. Okay. Hey, why don't we go somewhere right now, man? I have loads and loads of work to do. Oh, come on. Okay, give me someone to go out with. How about the girl I saw you with? Okay, sir. So. The girl I saw you with earlier. Oh, that's my personal secretary. Personal secretary? Yeah. Well, she's nice. So you can call her to come over. No? <laughs> no. Like I said, she's my personal secretary. Oh. Okay. So what is not ethical is against your office commandments or something. Hey, I'll find something to eat in the kitchen, okay? Care for some fruit? No, 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 no. Thank you. I, I wasn't brought up that way, you know. Be like me. Sleep like me. Come on, sleep. Lie down here beside me. Everything is work, work, work for you and business, business, business. And your secretary, 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 and files, files. What is all that for? This is life. What's life all about? Take it easy, man. Hey, do you have a girl for me? I have girlfriends. Oh, no, 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 not like that. I, I don't mean like that, friend, girl, girl, no, I don't mean that. I mean girlfriend, a girl you can bring to this room in here. A girl you can lie and need this crotch with, you know, a girl you can be touching and mean like that. I don't mean, I don't mean like your friend, girl, no. I mean, I can give you one, you know. I can give you two, in fact. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Here we go, we go. We go, we go, we go. Come on. Alright. Here we go, let's go. 
I'll be waiting. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably. Yeah, come here, come here, come. <laughs> Nancy, please. Who the hell is she? Nancy, please, oh. just understand this, okay? Please, I'm so sorry, alright? What is wrong with you? I swear it won't happen again. Roland, for how long would it take you to get your act together? Huh? For how long would it take you to get your act together? I promise it won't happen again. Is this the kind of attitude you're going to send into a matrimonial Hell home? no, it won't. It won't happen again, I promise you. Then you make yourself decision. If it ever happens again. I just want to be with you and only you. I don't care about this girl. But I just don't know what the problem is. Nancy, it's just you I love. I don't love these girls. I don't love them. I want to be with you. I promise to be with you. And I won't do it again. Just give me one more last chance, okay? I'll do just that. Uh, no problem. Thanks for calling. Thank you, thank you. I'll be there. Who the fuck are you? Don't you have eyes? Hey, I'm sorry, man. I I didn't recognize you. Sorry for the push, but Prince, this pleasure is mine. Fuck you. Um, you know, I just heard a lot about you. I was hoping to meet you someday. And this is, maybe we could sit and talk some somewhere. 10 p.m. Tomorrow, golf club. Don't follow me. I was born in the prison you had a nice house to leave I'm tired of this reason I want to leave my life Where did you take my car? Hey, relax, man. Is it really about where I went to or is it about your car? Where did you take my car? I would have my knowledge. What? What happened? I just went down the road, you know, checking out this and that. Just 
car and you have to take my car out without my knowledge. Hey, you're my brother, man. I can do anything I want with your car. You know I was supposed to be at work. I, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Give me up my keys. prison food. I grew up in prison. I schooled in prison. Kirikiri prison wasn't a place to be. Trust me. In Nigeria, all I could do was live in my head. That was the only way I could be free. But now, look at me. Smoking and drinking with you fine people. Hey. I know I'm not meeting you for nothing, you understand? I want to know the streets. I want you to show me the streets. So how I lived there, I want to live it now here. I have a rich uncle who has money. I have this cousin guy who is so full of himself and he's just not my kind, you understand? Everything in all of this makes me feel like I'm still in prison. I need people like me. I need people I can hang with. And that is you. You are the people I can hang with. This is survival of the foodest. Thank God you're here. You see, the people don't really care about us. You see that guy right there? He's called Easy. That's my right hand man. Easy. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Easy. 
He's going to take care of you. You know what, Bobby? Life is all about eating, drinking, smoking. You have fun. You know what I mean by fun, man? I know your cousin. What's his name? Tony. 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 What? That guy. He loves wine up on the AC amount of tides. Just feeling, feeling funky or whatever. To hell with him, man. But you are my boy. I've seen 99% of the bad boy's life or the nigger's life or whatever you want to put it. I'm going to give you something. How much do you have there? Mm -hmm. I mean money, money. Seventy bucks. Yeah. You are my boy. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you every loophole in this place. I'm going to do business. Hope you've got the mind. Yeah. Try this. It tastes good. Thanks. I'm true with you. Okay. I mean, leave. I'm true with you. No? Yeah. They say they call it Bluetooth. I don't know. What is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is witchcraft. Ask guys, you should know. Bluetooth is witchcraft. All I need is what? A beautiful girl. Yeah. What else? 
Take a first class flight. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> What else do I want? Just a green bottle and my condom. That's all I need. That's it. <laughs> That's it, bro. <laughs> Stop, baby. Friends. What do you mean about it? Why did you take my car? Let me have my car keys. Let me have my car keys. <laughs> Let me have those keys. I thought I warned you never to touch my car again. Did I hear you right? Yes, you heard me right. Why did you have to touch my car after I warned you never to touch it again? Why? Why didn't you take the car assigned to you? Oh. There are so many other cars here. Why do you have to take my car? That figures, huh? That's why you had to drive all the way to the club to embarrass me in front of my people. Do you know the people I was there with? But my ego down. Now let me tell you what. You see these grounds you're standing on. This whole thing. Yeah. All around here. It's for moi. You understand? And not only these grounds, this, this, and that. It's for me. When you watch the way you talk to me, you understand? I can touch this car. Whenever I want. Let me have my keys.
Um, I've called this meeting because uh, I wouldn't have fighting among my own bad relations. Now, Prince, if food is set before you, and you don't have the prerequisite manners to eat that food, chances are that either the food burns your mouth or you get choked on it. But if you take your time and you go easy on it, you enjoy the food, you savor it, and you get the fullest benefit. So I'm going make myself I'm very grateful for this meeting you have held. I really appreciate everything that you have been doing for me and my son here. May God bless you. I don't have much to say. All I want to say is thank you. But, Prince, I have to apologize to your brother. It's all right. I uh, I don't really have a problem with him. It's 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 just that I, I find it very difficult to understand him at times. It's there are so many other cars in the house, and he likes taking my car out, especially when he knows I have to be at work. Yes, uh, concerning the matter of cars. Now, Prince Tony here is like a big brother to you. You don't have the right to go for his car without his express permission. All right? Getting you another car is no problem. So, to put this matter at rest, I'm going to arrange for another car for you. So you don't go uh, meddling in there. Well, thank you. That's all right. Thank you. That's all right. Now, Tony, I'm sure that's settled. I'm okay. Come. Um. 
The food ready yet? No, sir. It should be finished in 10 minutes, sir. 10 minutes? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea what can happen in 10 minutes? Do you know how to react? I'm going to go out soon and I want you to fix Yes. I have something in the lower drawer. Yeah. Take it off for me. Yes. Stop the this? Just open it to the right side. Takes me the special to find it. Hey, look, let's go to town with this. Let's, go to let's do anything we want. Let's walk the bank or something right now. Let's 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 get some adrenaline going on, man. <laughs> I know what you mean, man. You know what? Let's I'm start with the smaller one first. Pop it like that, the bank or something. You understand? You steal the key. I know what to do. Do you have anything for me? You owe me a lot. You owe me plenty. Yep. I don't really have anything more. That, that, that's all I that's all I have. Do you have something for me? I have a transport. You owe me money, man. You, you owe me plenty. Do you have anything for me?
Get me the tall drink, the blue one. Yeah. And fine, 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 fine. And uh Okay. I look good. Just one more. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Ooh. It's a very good drink. Hey, 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 how much was it? What is the meaning of all this? Right? What is the meaning of all this? You turn my father's house into a discotheque where you bring all manner of people in to come and be dancing? I said, put the music back on. Everybody out. Get out! Hey, hey, come back. Get out of here! What are you doing? I'm trying to put this place. Sorry, what did you say? No, 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 no,
Yeah. I, I, honestly, I really do not understand what is happening. I don't know what is going on here. These people, this, these people have come into this, this place, and they are messing up everything, everything. Tony, Tony. They are not these people. They are family. My family. Your family. The blood that runs through your veins runs through theirs. Don't you think you are overreacting? Oh, Father, how could you say that? How could you say that, Father? How could you say that I'm overreacting? We what they are doing in this house, especially um, Prince, bringing in all manner of girls into this house and funny looking boys and funny looking characters. And all you can say is I'm overreacting. Yeah, I understand. You must know that Prince was born and bred in prison. Remember, they've spent over 25 years in prison. All they know and are used to is the hostile and harsh life. You were born and bred in a completely different environment. So definitely, it's going to take them time to get used to our kind of life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you go easy on them. Bit by bit, they'll get used to it. Do you understand? This, this, this whole thing is, is getting out of hand. It's, it's getting too much. and his mother. They want to ruin my life. All in the name of tradition. What tradition? Viv, uh, where I come from, tradition demands that my cousin inherit my father. And Prince happens to be the, uh, my cousin. The thing that worries me is the way they behave, the way they go about their things. Now that my father is alive, I just wonder what will happen to me when my father is not there, when he's dead and gone. I thought that tradition has been abolished since. Yeah. But in my own part of the um, the village where we come from. I still practice it. Besides, I hear that my father also inherited his uncle. So it makes everything very difficult and murky for me. So why are you sitting here worrying yourself about something that is not going to end up being yours? Um, but are you telling me that that Village boy, funny looking, that guy is going to inherit all this. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know where to start from. But that is what it seems like. That's it. 
It's, uh, that's it. Well, there's nothing I can do. I can't kill him. I can't. I can't kill him. I'm just left. I'm just left with my God. That's all. That's all. Baby, the worst in everything is my father, that was my best friend, now he's just, we're just poles apart. He's, he sights them. We can't even talk. The beautiful relationship we had is no longer there. I feel so, I feel so lonely. I need, baby. Can I, can I take you out tonight so we can talk? Um, oh, sorry. I have a date tonight. Okay, how about tomorrow? Oh, I don't think so. You don't have to work, so... I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah. You, we'll talk later. Let me go and get back to work with you. I'm looking for Miss Tosh. You have the audacity to come into my house and greet me hi. I will this. Has this house ceased to be Miss Tosh race? What do you expect me to do? To lie down for you or to lay down? Please spare me that. For your information. They are that old fool that I've been putting my boyfriend. Would you be shut up and stop? Why do you come here and insult me? Look at this house fly. Get out! All you do, all you girls do is talk from men to men. Ah! The impudence! All in the name of making money. Come back to this house and you will know the stuff I've put on. So forget it, okay? Abuna! Why is the orange I asked you to bring? Who knows whether even my brother is living? You forget about it.
with no good food. Now I talk to my father's house to enjoy the money. Are you too? You know like, who's not sure that he didn't he didn't do nonsense. Is this prison prison? Oh yes, I have to let her know. I am here to enjoy my brother's wealth and nobody else. Are you talking, talking to me? You. Okay. It's about your cousin. He's owing me plenty and I need my money. I don't joke with my money. Okay? I can kill because of money. Please talk to him. Because this is the last time I'm going to report him to you. Okay? Have a nice day. Put you the gun in my bag. I did. I used it for a while. Yes. That gun was licensed and given to me by my father for my personal protection. It is not for robbery or any of your useless moves. Confusion and fighting and this person that brought against 
and this person not of making time to this person, bringing a lot of confusion to my home. What is it? What is it for? Now you tell me. Don't stand there looking at my head. What is all this confusion? What is it? And how many times must I tell you just to be tolerant for Christ? Can't you, can't you for a minute be tolerant, Tony? What, what has gone into you? How many times must I tell you that tradition must have its way? Tell me. Now you shut up, girl. While I straighten this mess up. You think I'm stupid? You want me to incur the displeasure of my forebears? You want me to bring a curse upon myself? Or don't you know that I am protecting you? I go in the way of tradition. I cannot break it. I find it strange that you keep siding them every other time this issue comes up. What is the meaning of all this? How, how, do, how do I cope with all this? How? Father, are you forgetting so soon? Are you forgetting that I've always stood by you? Are you forgetting that almost everything that we have I join you in it. Like hell, I've forgotten it. That I, I, I now you shut up and listen to me. I said like hell, I've forgotten about it. You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know what I'm doing? Or don't you know that when a general refuses to offend and defend what he's doing, why can't you give me the benefit of the doubt? Are you not my son? Now there is this saying that when a man grows to a certain stature, he has arrived at years of discretion. And I believe I have arrived at years of discretion. Yes. I go in this way by handing over everything we've labored for to some other people by cutting me off by allowing all this around that's okay i'm out of here now you won't dare you're not going to go away come down here let him go let him go after all it is tradition it is tradition my brother you inherited it from my uncle no listen listen to my yes sir. let him go let him go to wherever you want to go why didn't you let your Kazakhstan son go? Go where? My brother, my son has nowhere to go. This is where he belongs to. Who told you that? Yes. Who because you have traditional demands. He is inheriting you the way you inherited our uncle. So he has nowhere to go. This is where he belongs Why to. Why did I inherit from our uncle? You inherited, you inherited the Coco farm. And the policies you got from the Coco farm is what has been giving you this building. Okay. And this building belongs to my son, whether you like it or not. Good. The cocoa farm is still there. Go get it for your son to also change it into change this. What? Where you have, you have, you have bundled everything in that farm. Why? What, what do you want me to go and get there? Now, you're going no question. I said, Tony, now you go back and behave yourself as you always done. You walk out on me and that's it between us. You dare cross this line. And I told you that. Please, brother. This is what you gave to me when I was attacked by armed robbers because of you. I don't need it. This cannot protect me. I don't need this, and I don't need your protection. I don't need your money. If you started from scratch, whatever you inherited, from your uncle, if you started from the scratch, 
I also am going out on the street to work it out myself. Hey. Yes. So tell me, now that you have a new boss, Boss just vanished into thin air. How are you coping? Very well. I'm not complaining. That's good to know. This is a fine material, you know. Thank you. And so are you. I like you. Really? Me too. No, I liked you from the very first day I saw you. But I just couldn't say. So I'm so glad that you said it yourself. 
I like a woman like you, you know. Speak your mind. Who is outside when you're coming? Nobody. So the door can be open. Yeah. Just give me a second. I didn't know what he was saying. Because of the traffic, that was why I had to like park the car on the other side of the road. When I looked through the mirror, I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and the second time I saw funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know. Happy birthday, you know. Happy birthday, you know. Baby! Mm -hmm. Charles Soldier! My show! What's up, my homie? Hello! Yeah, what's up, my brother? Where you at? Where? Oh, I left there already. I left there already, man. Okay, I'm missing an accent. Just, I call. Let me call you back, okay? Let me call. Nancy. So, is this you? Please, Charles, not really coming to someone's room. I said, shut up! What's wrong with you? Nancy, see, actually, I. Nancy, please! Nancy, don't, 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 don't take this too far. Stay out of this. Nancy, I can explain this to you. Nancy, please! Madam, Madam, where are you? Around which side? Where we turn? Left, right. right. Mother, 
now. My money. My money. Man. Hey, get this guy a drink. Where's my feet? Hey, take, take a seat with you. Get your drink. Hey, get him I don't drink. need your drink. I said, where's my thing? First thing, move get you. Okay, I have to move tomorrow. Whatever move it is, if I finish with it, I'll give you your thing. Please, okay? You know what? Let's try the deal. If you can't get my thing, I need your girl. Okay, I can get you one if you want. I'll get you one. My brother? I'm serious. I said I'll get you a girl. This is my girl. Leave me alone with my girl, okay? I'll get you a girl. Please, alright? You know, I trust you, man. You're my part. I believe in you, man. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful lady you got here. Get him a drink.
Mali. Come on. You are Vivi, eh? Yes. I've been seeing you lately with my son. But that's okay. If I may ask, what is the relationship between you and that so-called Tony who has absconded? Nothing, ma. I was just his personal secretary. Personal <laughs> secretary? But how would you know if anything was happening? Maybe there was something behind the behind, the far away behind. Nothing. Anyway, you see my son here. He's all I've got. Hmm? He's my breadwinner. He's my husband, if I may say. He's all I've got. Look, I've gone through a lot with him. And so therefore, I don't want anybody to come and mess him up. So if you have decided to go out with him, then you have to behave yourself and sit on Right? Well, I have seen him with so many girls. I sense you are the only one he has fallen in love with. So, all I have to say is behave yourself. Okay? Okay. And you must know too, this property here belongs to him. He's the head to this tree. He's the head to all the property my brother owns. And so therefore, I need a lady who will tame him down. Who will take care of him. Hmm? And I can see all these qualities in, in you. So, you're welcome to the family. Let me leave you long this. Um, let me get you a drink. No, I'm okay. Where's the girl? I'm okay. Let me get into the Please kitchen. Okay. And prepare some more. Of all this. 
Now get your dirty feet down. Get your legs down. But this is my office. That is your office, my foot. Do you know how this thing came into being? Do you know how many people have broken their backs to see it happen? Do you know how much effort has gone into it? You're telling me this is your office. Now tell me how all these monies were withdrawn without my consent and what you use them for. Ooh, this is a huge amount, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, leave this for me. I'll check it out for you. I'll tell you whatever happened, okay? I'm leaving nothing to you. You're telling me how it all happened. Well, I really don't remember um, with worrying such an amount, but... I'll... So, so who is lying here? Don't worry at all. I'll get back to you, okay? Good. Now, listen, boy. I've heard so much about you. I've heard a whole lot of ugly things about you. And I have been observing you closely. Pray, it's all not true. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What would you do if you walk in on your fiancé making love to another man? That's a hard one. I actually don't know how I would take it. I don't think I can take it. When you picked me, when I took your taxi, I was actually coming back from my boyfriend's house. It was his birthday, and I wanted to surprise him. But unfortunately, I walked in on him making love to another woman. But you see, the funny thing is, two weeks before that time, I caught him in the same act, but this time with a different woman. So I just had to advise myself now, you know? Regardless of the number of times he apologizes, I still wouldn't take it back. But, drink. I'm over that, so it's not a big deal in me. You'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Nancy. Oh my goodness, man. You have some guts. What the hell are you doing here? You know, you've got some guts coming into my house after what happened. Why ain't you picking my Get out. Phone? I'm asking you to wash the Stop hell out of my house. Stop screaming at me. Why aren't you picking my call? Gentlemen, listen. I, I, I think she doesn't want to see you now. So why don't you just... Why don't you just leave the house? Stand up. What's wrong with you? Roland! Ask off your opinion. Roland! Get the hell out of my house right now! Stop screaming at me. I'm sorry, Get the hell out of my house! Stop screaming at me! Nothing I. There's nothing I haven't done for that. That junkie. I I have done so much for him. I, I I spent a lot on him, and this is what I get. You know, you really have a beautiful place here. 
Somewhere. It's like I'm just noticing it. And uh, you've not told me what you do and how come this beautiful place, you're living large, you know? Um, well, this place is actually not for me. It's for a friend of mine and her family. They actually live outside this country, so I'm occupying the place just for now before they come back. Okay. And I work in a company, but a very, very little company. There's really nothing to buy all about. Are you sure? Yeah. So, uh, how come the photograph? If this is not your place? <laughs> yeah, the photograph. Um, this might sound very, very funny, but I actually like to have my photographs around. It makes me feel like I'm actually good. Yeah. <laughs> So what about you? What do you do? I mean, I know you're a taxi driver, or him. <laughs> Have you been driving like for a long time now? Whoa, my taxi driving. Mm, yeah, for a couple of years. Left school, university a couple of years ago. Joblessness and all that. So I just have to make do with driving taxi. It's okay. I'm getting by. At least it's the money's okay. The money. Don't worry, I'll get that time. I'm, I'm able to pay my bills and all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make yourself comfortable. And then when I come back, I'll go back. Am I, am I responsible for your pregnancy? Oh, don't you know? Do me. I need to spell it out? Me. me. You better me. take it to those who got my friend. Money. money. Did, did I hear you say money? Yes, you heard me say. Did, did you give me any oh, money? Oh, you are trying to tell me you spent all the money. Did you say you? That did you say you? Wait, did you say you? Yes. Did you I say you? That. I said that. We. You've been on. We've squandered it, me and you. What do you mean by you? Am I the only one who spent? Didn't you spend that of it? Talking about ministers morning. Did we, you, when I was telling you to, even that minute when you bought the condom, there was no single spam in it. H how come you, you used condom on you and there was no spam on it? You didn't come inside the condom. Don't believe pregnancy again, oh! I'm not responsible for it, and you can't tie me down with pregnancy. You understand me? You are crazy. Indeed. You are crazy. That's I go sink down to kerosene and fuel. I go burn you. You never even know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> oh, Mr. Loverboy. Take him up. <laughs> Take him up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring him to the wall. Let's go. I told I you you will see him around. <laughs> but he didn't believe me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. So you stay from Murphy, right? Well then listen. <laughs> now you can't even talk. 
For over how many hours? You went to my bed to do what? Yeah, I, I, I was checking on you whether you were sleeping, you know. You've had enough, just go to bed. It's okay. Leave the rest. Can I, can I have a rest? Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Do you sleep with me? Ah, no. Okay, let's go. You are going to bed. Let's go. See how drunk you are. Okay, steady, steady, steady. Yeah. Yeah, steady. I know you are not drunk. Yeah. Easy, easy. Steady, steady, steady.
Was he talking about my money? I haven't asked him anything yet. Just for the entire my wife's Where's my money? I said, Where's my fucking money? <laughs> Why do you always have to come and embarrass me in front of people because of your stupid money? There always has to be a girl around or a woman for you to come and shout, where is my money, where is my money? Your money now belongs to me, you understand? Your stupid money now is mine. Prince? I told you I don't joke with my money. I got killed because of money. You wanna fuck with me? Huh? You wanna fuck with me? 